Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 13 through 13.3 with Uncover on the iPhone 10 and older. Yes, that's right, A11 and below, so A9 CPUs up to the A11 can now jailbreak with Uncover. It was previously restricted to just A12 and A13 support, which meant the iPhone 10 series up to the iPhone 11 series and supported A12 iPads, but now it does include literally all devices that can run iOS 13, so long as they are on iOS 13.3 and below, because 13.3.1 actually closes the exploit utilized by Uncover. So if you do have one of those older devices on 13.3.1, unfortunately, you're just going to have to stick with CheckRain until something else comes out. But this is also a semi-untethered jailbreak, which is maybe why some people would actually prefer this over CheckRain, which means that you actually don't need the assistance of a computer to re-enable your jailbreak after your device powers off and then turns back on. Just so long as you do have the Uncover application on your device, you can just open it up and then tap on jailbreak and you'll be good to go. It will re-enable your jailbreak that way and you don't actually have to exploit the device's boot ROM over USB with the assistance of a computer like you do with check rain. Again, you just have to be on 13.3 or lower. And best of all is that if you are on an A11 device or older, you can actually switch back and forth between the two jailbreaks. So if you're already jailbroken with check rain and you want to switch to uncover, just follow the steps I'm about to show you guys as if you weren't jailbroken and you'll be good to go. Literally, it is that easy. And the only thing you need to keep in mind is that when you do want to switch back to check rain after you jailbreak, which you would just do as if you weren't already jailbroken, with Uncover, so you just go through the regular check rain jailbreak steps, is that after that's complete, then you actually have to reinstall Cydia Substrate from within inside Cydia, but really that's it, guys. So this iPhone is in fact on iOS 13.3, as you can see here, Uncover confirms that for the system version, and uh, really all you have to do is obtain the Uncover application on your device. It doesn't matter how it gets there, it can either be the on-device method without a computer, or it can be the computer method. For that reason, I will have both of my tutorials for Uncover iOS 13 linked down below in the description, post on Best Tech Info with full download links, literally everything you need. And uh, the on-device method is so much easier. I actually recommend trying that first. And if for whatever reason you just cannot get it to work, then you can fall back to the computer method. There are some possible complications with the on-device method, such as potential crashes. So the second you open the application, it may crash. That is just new. That something with Apple's developer enterprise program, something that they changed. And really the only way to kind of circumvent that is to clear all content and settings from your device. So basically wipe it. I really don't recommend doing that only as a last case scenario. And you also can't be jailbroken at all when you do that. So you would have to restore your root FS if you were previously jailbroken. Um, and if that is the case for you, and if you do run into those complications, like I said, I really do just recommend using the computer method. So that's why I have both of them linked down below in the description. But uh, for this guide, I'm going to show you guys how to do it on device. So I'm going to operate under the assumption that I'm neither jailbroken nor have the Uncover app. So let's go ahead and launch up the on-device service, which by the way, like I said, will be linked down below in the description. Just tap on the big download button followed by install on that pop-up and it will begin installing immediately on your device. And when you actually go to open it, you'll receive this pop-up saying untrusted enterprise developer. That's completely fine. That's just the developer enterprise certificate used for signing it. So go ahead and launch up the settings application followed by general, scroll down to device management, tap on the profile, tap Tap on trust, tap trust again, and now you can actually open the application. Now, before we do this, I have one really, really crucial thing I want you guys to check for inside of the settings application. I want you guys to go to general followed by iPhone storage. So there it is general iPhone storage. And if you do have iOS 13.3.1 or iOS 13.4 beta listed here, or really any iOS software update, you need to tap it and you need to delete it. And then you actually have to restart your device. So just power it off, power it back on, and then you can proceed. And now that that's taken care of, we can go back to the Uncover application and tap on a jailbreak. Now, if you get an issue or if your Uncover app crashes or your device reboots or you receive a pop-up saying that it 
failed and it's not a fault of the jailbreak, just the exploit and you have to reboot, then just restart your device and try again. But as you can see, it worked for me right off the bat and I just have this pop-up saying, notice the system snapshot has been successfully renamed. The device will now be restarted. Go ahead and tap on OK. This is just the root file system snapshot that the jailbreak creates. It's making a snapshot of your file system to revert everything back to stock iOS if and when you decide you want to unjailbreak. Don't worry, it doesn't touch your personal data or your app data in any way. It's just system files. And if you were previously jailbroken with Checkrain, you won't even have that step at all because you already have a root file system snapshot. So now that that's complete and we're back up, go ahead and tap on Uncover, followed by Jailbreak for a second time. And now it's just blazing through the process here. And uh, it shouldn't take too long, but it might take a little bit longer than on an A12 or A13 device. Device. And once it is complete, you'll receive another pop-up letting you know how long it took to jailbreak and just that you have to tap OK to respring. So as you can see, it completed in only 18 seconds, which is fantastic for this semi-older device. And we can go ahead and tap on OK to respring. It's just going to put us at our lock screen. It might take a second, but once it is finished, finished, you can then unlock and you will have Cydia. I'm doing all this in real time, so nothing's cut out. But as you can see here, now we have Cydia on our lock screen. And uh, if you were previously jailbroken with Checkrain, really nothing's going to change. The only thing is that now you can re-enable your jailbreak with Uncover instead of having to plug in and exploit it over USB every single time with Checkrain. So now what I want you guys to do is just go to the changes section and then tap on upgrade followed by confirm and install any and all available updates that you have inside of Cydia. You wanna make sure that everything is up to date. And uh, if you do get this error right here, just DPKG locked, go ahead and just tap on respring and then just try again. It should definitely work the second time. So let's go ahead and try that one more time here. Changes, upgrade, confirm, and now it's just blazing through the process once more. And uh, yeah, everything is installed now. So we can go ahead and tap on restart springboard again. And lastly, I just wanted to show you guys that Cydia confirms this is an iPhone 10 running 13.3. So down below at the bottom for the identifying text, Cydia confirms iPhone 10 comma three, the identifier for the global iPhone 10 running iOS 13.3 with the latest version of Cydia. And that concludes this jailbreak tutorial, guys, for older devices with Uncover and also how to switch back and forth between Checkrain and Uncover. Like I said, just jailbreak as if you weren't already jailbroken. And the only real difference is that if you decide to go to Checkrain, that you just have to reinstall Cydia Substrate and that's it. So, like I said, that completes this tutorial. And now we're going to play a segment of our latest Top Tweaks video for those of you new jailbreakers who don't know what to install once you're jailbroken. Check this out. The link to the full video is down below in the description. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's Top Tweaks video. Now this is my perfect jailbroken setup on iOS 13.3. And guess what, guys? We are using an A13 device. Yes, this is my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I have 50 tweaks running on this, and I want to show you guys exactly how I have my phone jailbroken and set up. Anyhow, let's get into today's video. All of the tweaks that we're going to talk about are located down below in this video's description on our Best Tech Info website. So you can go ahead and batch install all of the sources and then install the tweaks that you guys like uh, that you see in this video as we go along. Anyhow, if you guys have yet to jailbreak, we also have a tutorial located down below in the description as well. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get into today's video, talk about all of these tweaks and exactly how I have my phone set up. So let's go ahead and get started on the lock screen. First up, we have Jellyfish for that nice modern clock interface. Right below that, we have complications to bring Apple Watch style complications to iOS. You guys can customize that quite a bit. It's a super cool tweak. Now, yes, as you guys will notice, there are going to be paid tweaks in this video. There are quite a few free tweaks that I'm going to feature and talk about as well. But again, this is a perfect jailbroken setup not a free tweaks video. Anyhow, moving on, Axon right below that for my notification grouping. So I can go ahead and click on Twitter. 
Now I have all my Twitter notifications, and if I go back to Reddit, I have all my Reddit notifications. And the more apps that I have notifications for, the more they pop up. But it's a nice way to organize your notifications. Then at the very bottom, we have Quick LS. Now, as you guys can see, I have my flashlight toggle right here but I actually have a Cydia toggle, so I can jump right into Cydia directly from the lock screen.